I built a fully working ChatGPT integration that allows you to chat with the AI using Laravel. You can send it messages and within seconds, you'll get a response from the OpenAI servers. To get started, all we need to do is install Laravel using this command and it will create our Laravel project. Let that whiz through and once it's installed, navigate inside the directory. Run PHP Artisan to create our chat controller and then open up the code in your editor. Head over to the resources folder and in the views, open up the welcome blade. Delete everything in there and just include some basic HTML. Next, we need to include the jQuery library and then in the body, add a div with class chat, another div with class top, and finally, another div with a P tag inside and a small tag. Under your header, we're gonna have another div with class messages and another div inside of that with class left and message with an image and a p tag, which will be the very first message that will show up in our chat application. You do need this or it's not gonna work. Underneath your chat, we're gonna have another section. This area will have a div class bottom. Inside the div, we're gonna have a form with an input that will send to the chat GPT AI. Give it a name, message with a placeholder and the autocomplete off. Then just have a submit button. Now that you've done all that, if you go ahead and open up your Laravel application in the web browser and it'll look like this. At the moment, it's a little bit ugly. To fix all of this, we need to add in some CSS. To make it simpler, since if I showed you the styling, this video would be about 30 minutes long, go to this URL and copy the contents. I'll leave a link in the description. Go to your project and in the public folder, create a new file called style CSS and just paste in the code. Head back to your welcome blade, scroll up to the top and add a reference to this CSS file you've just created. Then give it a refresh and it'll look a lot nicer. At the moment though, when we type in our message, it doesn't do anything. That's why we need to include the JavaScript so we can actually connect with chat GPT. Back in our code, scroll down to the bottom and add in the JavaScript so when we actually click the submit button, it's going to send Send off a message to chat GPT. The first thing we want to do is capture when we click the submit and immediately prevent the default action. Then we need to disable the form to stop duplicate messages. Create an Ajax request to the chat URL and make sure it's a post method. Add some headers for your cross-site request forgery token and in data just add content with the value from our input. Add a done function and in there will have be the message in the res variable. First, inside of the done function, we need to populate the message we sent out. Add in some jQuery with a dot last after. And inside after, we're gonna add in some HTML. And make sure you surround this div in single quotes, plus a P tag surrounded by single quotes as well. Inside this, we're gonna have the message we sent out, plus an image just to make it look nice, plus a closing div. Now you're gonna populate the receiving message. So add your jQuery last after with your div, but this time it's a left, not a right class and your image before your p tag then inside of your p tag populate the message the ai sends us which will be in res choices the first index messages and content and then close off the div then just clear the message we sent out and make sure it scrolls to the bottom and then enable the form again in your chat controller add the use for http then a public function for invoke inside your function you want the response equals http with headers Add an array with content type application JSON with your authorization as a bearer token. Make sure you add a space here and then include your ChatGPT API key. Post the data to the OpenAI URL with the following. Model is ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo. This is the version of ChatGPT, which at the time of filming is the latest publicly available. Messages, role, user, and content. The temperature as zero and max tokens as 2048. This is basically the complexity of your reply. Add body and then just return the response as JSON. In your web PHP file, we're just gonna add a simple post route for the chat controller we just made. Then finally, you need to head over to the OpenAI website, go to developers, overview, click sign up, and once you're in, at the top right where it says personal, click and you can see view API key. Here, you can create a new secret key, copy it, Go to your project and scroll down to your dot environment file. You essentially want to delete everything in there and then add chat GPT key equals and paste in the API key that we get. You go over to the browser and give it one more refresh, then type, who are you? The chat GPT will give you a lovely response. If you want to know how this can be adapted to work with humans so you can chat with all of your friends throughout the world, click on this video here. Until next time, Ross.